Hello, and welcome to another Project Loudboy Apocalypse video. In this series, where we're trying to max all of our skills and complete the game, even though nobody's watching it, because we're actually sick of, like, uh, looking at our videos, then we would go to bed, and then wake up, and it's like, eight people watched the video, and they watched, uh, eight seconds of it. And the other one, it's like, uh, 13 people watched the video, they watched 13 seconds of it. So, with or without anybody, we're going to be uh, trying to try to beat the game here, max all of our skills. And our current goal is pretty much just sort of like uh, moving things out of the town here. Because I know there's going to be zombies are going to be respawning here. I know, I know if you like, uh, leave an area for 30 days, every single zombie is going to respawn. So our goal here is to set up some bases on, like, the outside of town here. So probably the gas station here, since it's, like, the, uh, pretty much the media point between the next, uh, city over here. Like, there's going to be another city that we're going to have to visit over here. But for now, since we're in here, we should probably start, like, uh, setting up a base on the edge of town here. We probably start setting up a base on the edge of town here. And maybe setting up a base at the, uh, gas station up here. And then, uh, maybe setting a base up in, uh, this nice house up over here. So you pretty much have, like, a base in all four corners of the town here. I have a base up here, a base up here, then a base up here. Uh, so it doesn't matter which, like, uh, area of town that we're in. We we should have a base nearby. And, uh, help when we're, like, uh, leaving town, right? So if we have, like, a base based up here and want to go explore this area or something, and then we just come a base right here. As I say with here, if we want to go to this big uh, warehouse that's up here, we base up at the uh, gas station, which is a short ride from here. And if we ever want to explore over here, we kind of have like a safe house over here. Same with here, whenever we eventually uh, leave the city to go to this town over here, we'll have a base set up here. So, like, uh, in between the long roads, we'll, we'll probably have a base set up at, like, uh, this gas station here, then have a base set up at this gas station here. Just so that if we're ever going between the two places, we'll have a base set up at, like, the entrance of the town, pretty much. So, I also think they were working on our farm in here. <laughs> like, there was, a uh, crops up here, we're just waiting for them to grow, I think. So we're probably going to go try to harvest those. But I think it may do a pretty good job of keeping the city clear and everything. So I think what we're going to do is start, like, uh, looting stuff and throw it in the vehicles. Then start plan to get uh, vehicles to the west side of town over here. And, yeah, probably level up our skills here, right? Our skills are doing pretty good. We're actually going to bring the uh, car, but I was thinking maybe, maybe we should actually bring the uh, moving van at this point, right? Cause, uh, maybe we should start putting stuff in the moving van, and then we can start bringing all the items to like, uh, one place here. And if we have the moving van, then we just uh, fill the moving van, then we can fill some vehicles or something, and then tow some vehicles behind it. Oh, we, we just have to turn this vehicle off here. And then we need to get the uh, tire pump. We need to get the stuff for the back of the vehicle here. Uh, then I guess we use the uh, moving back, so we probably should go and like pick pick up some things, throw out some things here instead of just le leaving everything on the ground. So like uh, umbrella, and a tire pump, we got some food here. Then, there we go. So we'll, we'll just take the moving van up to there, and then as we like uh, clear the areas and find the farm and everything, we'll probably. So I'm putting this stuff in the back of the moving van here. I wonder, I wonder if we should actually start here or something. Well, I guess it doesn't matter, right? We, we have to go there to check on the uh, vegetables to see if the uh, ve vegetables are seed bearing or not yet. Let's pray turn on the headlights so we can see it so we don't just uh, run into a random zombie. But if we, uh, oh yeah, if we see any zombies, we should take them out. There's like a whole bunch here, right? But, but it's actually going to be hard to see. Yeah, I, I guess we should take them out, right? If you see any zombies, we're gonna need to take them out, because we're gonna have to take them out later here. The, they're gonna be following here. They could probably use the flashlight here. Uh, we'll probably start clearing the uh, area of zombies here all, all the way to back, back to the farm again there. Yeah, may, maybe clear these guys out. He has like a metal, metal pipe here. Why was the game like it?
Yeah, see, we have either one head weapon so we can use the uh, flashlight. Yeah. Plus, one head weapon's good, anyways. Alex takes like le less uh, interest to use it so you can actually see your fight locker. Uh, there we go. So we took like uh, all of them out. So probably just do the same thing. Just work towards the fire. It, it'll probably get brighter once it gets closer to like five and six, anyways. All right, so we're here at the farm, and we're checking the uh, vegetables. So it's still uh, young broccoli, so it's not ready to harvest yet. And then they sell young cabbages, but this is uh, ready for harvest cabbages. So all we have to do is just wait for it to become like uh, seedling cabbages, and then uh, seedling broccoli, and then harvest them so that we get the seeds from them. And we'll level up our farm at the same time. So over here, that we're clear this area. So I guess we're going to clear out this uh, uh Houses are out here. Area with these houses here. And then we'll come back and check out these uh, vegetables later. It's uh, 6 in the morning. So that means it's actually bright enough to see. So, so we can actually actually see what's out here. So the other thing that we have to worry about is... <laughs> it's raining so our character's going to get wet. So the other thing we have to worry about is... We, we, we can't just stay under the rain too long or else the character's going to get sick or something. Uh, so I guess we're doing that. So we're over here. We probably try to clear the area of zombies that uh, uh, try to go outside a house every once in a while. Hopefully I'll trigger an alarm system. But uh, yeah, there probably will be an alarm system. We cleared uh, all these zombies the last time they gave here. So it shouldn't be uh, as many zombies. There's like, a small group down here. There's a couple of them. There's a big, huge group down there. He might be trying to break. Yeah, he broke the window over there. Uh, so I guess we'll try to clear this this place out a little bit. Alright, so we're able to get inside this house safely. So we have a safe place to uh, rest because we were just exhausted so we needed to find a place here. And uh, we could get out from the raid. And we actually found a new skill book. We found the uh, good cooking magazine volume 2. So we found a lot, lot of uh, skill books over this area here. And we didn't even check the uh, shelf here yet. Actually, yeah, we already have all these things. But, but essentially we got like, uh, this place here, uh, say a place in here, rested on the ground. Which I guess we should reject the rest of our dirt here. They wonder what our, uh, weight is, right? It's still 86 going down. That doesn't make sense, because we, all we've been eating is just, uh, radishes. We've been using the crowbar this whole time. We've been doing a lot of running and everything. Hopefully we get rid of that, right? Because we're, we're still overweight. Because we made too good of food. And it has so much calories. So we switched to the uh, radish diet here. And it seems to be working. But it's not working as fast as we were hoping. I guess what we're going to do now. That we're all rested up here and everything. On a safe place. We'll probably just go around here and clear zombies. That if we get too wet, we can just come into this house here. And just uh, rest over here. Alright, so it's finally cleared up a bit. So it was a storm and it was so dark, like, uh, e even during the day, we could barely see anything. So, uh, yeah, now we can actually see things. That's gonna be a lot better here. So we cleared, like, uh, all these zombies all the way to, to like, the, uh, food area up there again. We'll, we'll save for the jump the fence here. Uh, I, mean, I think there's a whole bunch of, uh, loot we have to get over here. Wait a minute, we're, we're, we're uh, killing guys up, up to over here or something? No, I guess not. So I guess what we're going to do is go loot these places. We didn't search all these houses yet because we're still worried about alarm systems. So once you trigger an alarm system, then uh, oh, all the zombies are going to start coming. Here. So I guess we're going to... Oh, I, I think it was because we were getting wet and everything. We were getting uh, exhausted. It was probably dark or something. Maybe they just uh, pushed us back here and they were like, uh, well, since we're back here, might as well just go to the house or something. So we're ma making a lot of pro progress uh kill the zombies here. Although, although I'm wondering if like, those uh, plants were, were, was there supposed to be uh, potatoes there uh, at that like, uh, farm over here? Did we, did, did we res the farm and uh, did the potatoes die or something? 
or the potatoes up here. We don't, we don't quite remember. Ho hopefully the potatoes didn't die. I if they did, they were going to have to get some more potatoes. We're not sure, because we, we didn't check for a while, right? We'd have to like, uh, make a new game and then run over here and then see if there's uh, potatoes or something. Because I was sure that there was a bunch of potatoes we were supposed to get here, too. Or were the potatoes just uh, only up here? Alright, so I think we're headed home. So we cleared a whole bunch of the area here that our character is tired. It's 2020, that it was like uh, raining all day. So it's really hard to see anything. And then our uh, flashlight barely works because the uh, battery's just about dead in it. Yeah, battery's just about dead. So, so I guess when it reaches the uh, red level, uh, the, the, the flashlight's not working as good. Actually, it's actually hard to see even uh, with, with the flashlight. So I guess eventually when this uh, flashlight dies, we're just gonna uh, re re replace the uh, battery in it here. I had to have a uh, fresh flashlight. Because what we're gonna do is just uh, work our way right back to our whole base here then. Alright, so we're back home here. So generally it's like 84%, uh, 92%, so that's still looking good. So I guess what we're gonna do is go sleep here. Well, I guess we can check our, uh, check, check our vegetables here, right? Maybe they're ready. Oh no, they're not even close to ready, right? Yeah, you just have to wait, wait a long time for our uh, vegetables to actually grow. Which is why it's good to go to that farm and then uh, collect them because you get your farm level hair type here. So what we're going to do is put these uh, radishes in the fridge. Maybe we'll eat one. And then we'll head to sleep here. Yeah, then hopefully it's not raining tomorrow and then we can uh, head, head out. Head out to the fire, babe. Maybe go start looting things. We killed so many zombies out there, right? We, we didn't actually uh, loot anything yet. We, we just pretty much spent the entire day just killing zombies. That was it. And then what about our... Uh... Oh, yeah. We, we got a uh, level 5 uh, 2 head weapon skill with the uh, chrome. Or, so we level that up. And we almost have our uh, 1 head skill. Oh. So try and level these up uh, e equally. So we have our 2 head and our 1 head weapon. 85 going down and we're still overweight here. And it looks like it's uh, storming even worse than it was before. Yeah, it's storming even worse, so it's going to be even harder to see zombies out there. Do we have any radishes here? Oh, yeah, we still have 16. So check our uh, water bottle. Fill the water bottle. They have some uh, food here. So I wonder if we should just go uh, lo looting for the day then, right? Because it's going to be stormy. It's going to be impossible to see anything. Uh, if we just bring this uh, moving bad, we would probably, probably go around loot, loot things and then bring it to the other vehicles or something. something. So if we go back here... If we just uh, drive up here, we have like a whole bunch of loot, and then a whole bunch of a uh, whole bunch of vehicles up here. There's like a whole bunch of loot on the ground right here. Oh, and then I guess over by the uh, trailer park area. Yeah, it's so hard to see. It's like 3:30 uh, in the morning here too. Oh, it's a uh, slight winch. Oh, so you have to worry, worry about that here, too. So what we're going to do is just go over here where there's a whole bunch of loot. Then we'll just uh, loot everything. Then we'll just throw it in the back of the vehicle. And then, then we'll bring it to the vehicles that are uh, uh, parked by the food store over there. Yes, yeah, so you should be able to get like, a full inventory here, right? I guess we should uh, favorite the food. Let's see what I'll back to deposit here. Then we start throwing the stuff in the back of the vehicle here. Yeah, we just start uh, clean, cleaning up the ground here. So we're not going to be able to see it because it's uh, raining, it's really dark out, but what, once we uh, clear all the stuff up here, uh, the, the ground should be should be a lot cleaner, right? We won't have to be driving around. There's just all these uh, clothes 
lay it on the ground everywhere. And then we can use all these to level up our uh, scales here too. So we'll probably be doing this for a bit then. All right, so we got our uh, overweight modifier gone, right? We're like uh, 85 going down. So you usually uh, crowbar eating all those uh, radishes actually out here. So if you're trying to keep regular weight out, right? Like uh, 85, well, like, it, it's so easy to get such good food now. If you just let our weight weight go down here a whole bunch, maybe let our weight go down like uh, 76 or something. Yeah, cause it's so easy to gain weight. So we finally lost this. So we, it, it's so good to not be uh, overweight here anymore. All right, so the streets are looking pretty clean, right? We got like uh, all these clothes and everything picked up for the ground and put in the vehicles. So like uh, this vehicle completely filled up. This one's completely filled up. We're working on filling up this uh, truck here. And then this, uh, re the, uh, oh, the uh, black car. The black car over here is all filled up, and then the uh, blue car, we, we can't open the door. So if you can take a wrench and then like uh, take out the window, uninstall the door, and then maybe gain access to the vehicle, then we can unlock it, then we would be able to gain access to it. And then be able to put some more stuff inside that vehicle. But uh, we pretty much just been going around like uh, these areas, seeing if there's anything on the ground to pick up, and then if there is, we just put them in uh, these vehicles here. Although, we're going to have to head home pretty soon. Because uh, our character, we're like uh, out of radishes at the moment. So we're going to have to go home and pick up some more uh, radishes. So you have the moving van up here. And then we pretty much like uh, filled up the moving van. There's like a little bit of space left. Yeah, we pretty much uh, filled up the moving van here. So if we're going to go back to the home base, we, we need to get some food here. And then, uh, I guess all we have to do is just watch our calories, right? We have to maybe make some new food up or something. So, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe we'll just do some, uh, cooking for a little bit. Although I guess all, all that we really have is just, uh, fi fish cooked with, so maybe we wouldn't even make, uh, make any point or something. Yeah, like, uh, all this loot on the ground. Uh, then eventually, have like uh, all the stuff here collected. Generate info 80%. And eventually, it'll stop uh, raining here, too. So, like, yeah, we're on our last uh, radish here. Yeah. We have like uh, 60 in the fridge. What if we start bringing these out again? These uh, salads here. Yeah, then we're gonna have to eat these and then watch what we eat or something. Oh, they don't give to enough uh, hunger, right? They get like so many calories, but so if you hunger and everything. So we can figure something else here. Maybe we'll have to start putting some uh, fish in the fridge or something. Yeah. Next, maybe that'll, that'll heal more hunger per calories or something. Yeah. But there we go. So, yeah, yeah, it's a really bit annoying just because they uh, raid and everything. Looks like we do have some more radishes here. So maybe, maybe we'll actually start e eating some of these uh, salads here. Because <laughs> for for a weight, I imagine we're at like the uh, lowest calories possible, which is gigs for losing weight. Got rid of the overweight modifier. So what we do now, right? We re restocked on food a little bit. It's like 1780. Our character is going to be tired here pretty soon. Uh, but essentially, we got like uh, all the loot cleared up from this area here. Then uh, sh should we like uh, go over here? Because we had a few vehicles parked like uh, oh, right over here. And then if we clear out all these areas, we can put everything in uh, these vehicles maybe. And then uh, maybe we have some uh, vehicles over here or something somewhere. Oh yeah, the trailer park. Maybe go to the uh, trailer park and throw stuff in the vehicles. And then eventually go up here and check the uh, farm to see if we harvest the uh, vegetables. But it, it, it's annoying just because it's raining. It's like it's so hard to see and actually uh, do anything. And then your character gets uh, soaking wet and then he complains about that. He's going to get sick or something. 
All right, so they've got quite a bit cleaned up here. So just in like the uh, dead neighbor's house over here, they've just been putting in all the stuff in these vehicles here. So all we have to do is just uh, tow these vehicles somewhere. And then we have a whole bunch of loot inside the vehicles. And then we don't even have to worry about like uh, <coughs> coming here and collecting it like uh, one vehicle and making a whole bunch of trips or something. And so we're gonna be bringing all these uh, vehicles to one spot anyways, right? So we might as well just go through, just uh, fill up all these vehicles here. I had to probably go to sleep here. Yeah, it's like 22.30, so it's getting pretty late. Uh, pretty dark out. I feel like uh, all that road cleared almost that over here. That uh, maybe we're just we work on the uh, road just to the north over there. I wonder if we should be uh, starving our character, right? Like, you have all this food here, but maybe we should be uh, e eating it or something. Yeah, because we eat, eat, eat this uh, radish. I guess we still have like 15 radishes here. So maybe, maybe we'll. Well, I guess we just bring the salads out if we need, need them later, right? But we do need our weight to keep going down so we can't just eat all this like uh, high calorie food here. Uh, but essentially, we spent like the whole day just uh, cleaning out the streets, basically. Uh, just because it's been uh, raining, right? We can't, can't really go fight zombies or do anything like that or explore or anything. And uh, I, I think if, if the uh, weather cleared up, oh, it just started raining again. Uh, I was going to say, maybe you should go check on the uh, farm there and see if we can go collect the uh, cabbages and the uh, broccoli yet. But then it just started raining here. Oh, that has, has our uh, generator to it. So uh, 77%, 91%. So a lot of vehicles here, we go in here. Yeah, it, it, it just sucks when it's raining so much because you can't see. It's so hard to see. But we'll uh, maybe continue just uh, clearing up the town a bit and, uh, until it gets uh, brighter out here. All right, so the uh, cabbages are ready here, right? It says like uh, seed berry cabbages. So we're going to do is get the seed berry cabbages and then hopefully get our farming level up here and then we should be able to read the next uh farming skill book <clears throat> i don't have a whole bunch of uh, cabbage seeds here for plant the uh, cabbage seeds in the near future oh we didn't get the uh, farming level where, where is it all right here so it's i guess pretty soon to be getting the farming level so we can't be here we harvested our cabbages we got all these uh, cabbage seeds here I was we'll waiting for the broccoli, wait for those other two cabbage over there. I wonder if we should like uh, go back and deposit these into the uh, freezer, or, or if we sit here and fight for a little bit. Um, yeah, maybe let's go throw these cabbage in the freezer and then we'll come back. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe we should actually go get the uh, other guard here. Oh, we're short actually leveled up here finally. This thing's off, right? Yeah. So throw these in the back of the vehicle. Maybe we'll go check the the other guarded. If we get the other guarded, uh, maybe I'll actually actually level us up here. So what the do is just work away north here. I think the guard is like uh, just up over here, past this house. Then over to the west a little bit. There should be a second guard with like some, some more some more vegetables to get. Alright, so over at the other farm here. It looks like you get some uh, seed bearing tomatoes. Since there's no uh there, there's no potatoes anywhere. So what if we missed it? Like like the uh, potatoes, we, we didn't get any potatoes, any potato seeds. Were, were they in that uh, first place there? 
It says, ready for a harvest carrots, and then those are not a plant. Here's the tomatoes. We, we didn't get any potatoes. So ho ho hopefully we get some, like, uh, potato seeds or something. Hopefully I have a bunch of potato seeds, or we find a bunch of potato seeds in a warehouse, or from uh, zombies or something. Because it looks like we missed the potatoes or something. What we're going to do is uh, throw these in our bag here so we're not overweight. And then we head back to the vehicle. Oh, there's that guy. I thought that I see somebody with an axe. Then I came over here. Then we killed all these guys. Then we, then we didn't see anybody with one. But I guess he was right here. So you get another uh, axe right here. Oh, we get one of these vehicles. That, that's like the first one of these vehicles that we see in all this map here. So I think what we're going to do is just uh, go back to the vehicle. And then we could head back home. And we have a uh, level 4 farming, so we can actually go read the uh, farming skill book here. So I think that's good. I, I guess the only thing is that we, we, we didn't get the uh, potato seeds. I, I, I guess we, uh, we're, we're too late. We, we must have uh, visited the place where we went out to the, out to the bottom left there. That must have uh, rise dead, and then the potatoes died before we get them. So I guess we didn't get the uh, potato seeds. And uh, there we go. So probably just throw these uh, vegetables in the uh, freezer here for now, if, if they'll fit. And then throw the seeds in the other box over here. And then when we move to the new area, we'll, we'll probably set, set up uh, some more of these seeds up there. And then level up our fire by doing that. So throw the seeds over here. Then we could read the fire and scale book. What, what's our uh, weight doing here? 84 going down. Okay, so we got level 4 farming here. So let, let, let's read this uh, farming scout book. Farming level 3. Then we read this. Then we go harvest the other uh, vegetables there. We should get some more farming levels. And it, it, it sucks that we didn't get the uh, potatoes by the looks of it. But if we get level 4 farming, farming is not too difficult to level up. All you have to do is just like uh, plant a whole bunch of crops. Then harvest them. Uh, we should just help y'all get leveled up here. Yeah. Uh, there we go. So we got the Fartman Scalebug right here. So it's throws to the uh, cupboard here. Uh, do we have a uh, Fartman level 4? Oh, no, we don't. So we're going to have to go search for the Fartman level 4 Scalebug before we can level up uh, Fartman. Oh, no, we can level Fartman get to level 6. We're going to find the next one uh, after that then. Okay. So we got our uh, Fartman car up here. Probably gonna eat some of this, and then we'll probably go back to radishes tomorrow if our weight's not going. Our weight's still going down, perfect. We probably eat that in the morning, then pull the radishes out. And we'll fill the water bottle. Well, I guess there's no reason to, the water bottle's like pretty much filled up here. And then we head to sleep. And then we have a bunch of vegetables seeds and a whole bunch of farming seeds minus the uh, potato seeds, which we didn't get. So we go to sleep here. Let's see if it makes like, uh... Oh, it's getting colder out here, right? It's getting chilly. So that means it's getting colder out. So that means we're going to start dressing a uh, warmer here later. But it's so much better because it's not uh, raining and storming out. So when we actually go to uh, do things, it, it, it's not going to be raining and storming. So that's going to be a lot done. <clears throat> so... Yeah, we got our farm up level 4 here, finally.